Good morning and welcome to my coffice. I hope that you are well today. As I was praying and getting ready to prepare for this, I just felt the Lord to speak to my heart, seek me first. And so I opened up to Matthew chapter 6 where this passage comes and I started reading through it and I thought, you know what, I just want to keep it really simple this morning. And I'm going to read from the message, chapter 6, verses 25 to the end. And it says, If you decide for God, living a life of God worship, it follows that you don't fuss about what's on the table at mealtime or whether the clothes in your closet are in fashion. There is far more to your life than the food you put in your stomach, more to your outer appearance than the clothes you hang on your body. Look at the birds, free and unfettered, not tied down to a job description, careless in the care of God, and you count far more than birds. Has anyone by fussing in front of a mirror ever gotten any taller, even by an inch? All this time and money wasted on fashion, do you think it makes that much difference? Instead of looking at the fashions, Walk out into the fields and look at the wildflowers. They never primp or shop, but have you ever seen color and design quite like it? The ten best-dressed men and women in the country look shabby alongside of them. If God gives such attention to the appearance of wildflowers, most of which are never even seen, don't you think he'll attend to you? Take pride in you. Do his best for you. What I'm trying to do here is to get you to relax, to not be so preoccupied with getting, so you can respond to God's giving. People who don't know God and the way he works fuss over these things. But you know God, and you know the way he works. Steep your life in God reality, God initiative, God provisions. Don't worry about missing out you'll find all your everyday human concerns will be met. This is my favorite part. Give your entire attention to what God is doing right now. And don't get worked up about what may or may not happen tomorrow. God will help you deal with whatever hard things come up when the time comes. Give your entire attention to what God is doing right now. Father, let your will be done. Just like Jesus said, I only do what I see my Father in heaven doing. Pay attention to what the Lord is doing now so that you can see it and follow suit and obey and be in step with what God's doing. Partner with God today and have an amazing day. God bless.